Hey, good morning. How are you doing today? We have a great program for you. We're going to make a great green smoothie using this maca powder secret ingredient right here. And we're going to read from my new green, advanced green smoothies book. It's available on Amazon. So check out this broadcast. All right. All right. So what is maca powder? First of all, from the bag, you can see um, I got this bag at my local grocery store. Nothing special. It's in the health and nutrition area. Um, sometimes you might have to go to like a specialty store or like a Whole Foods or something like that. Um, for those of you living in New Mexico, I found this in Sprouts, uh, a chain called Sprouts. Okay, it's organic. I paid a little bit extra, got the organic because, you know, it's just Dr. V thing. But what it says is it supports energy and vitality. Now, what is vitality? Vitality means you're alive. If you have no vitality, it's not just being tired. It means you're dead. Vitality comes from the root, uh, uh, Latin root for life, okay? Uh, like, like we say, it's vital. It's vital you listen to me. And then as a doctor, you, know, you have vital signs, right? Okay, so it's a multi-nutty super root, all right? And it promotes balance in the body. Now listen, during these kind of hectic holiday times, right? We got to get some balance in us, right? A uh, lot going on. Now, here's cool. Check out the picture. See what it looks like right there? You can see that is the actual plant right there, the maca plant. Now, from my Advanced Green Smoothies book available on Amazon, uh, what's cool about this book is, it, one, it's got color photos. First of all, it's got photos. Most recipe books, especially for the weight loss surgery people, don't have photos, amen? But this one has photos. But in the beginning here, I give you um, a breakdown of the superfoods, okay? The Advanced Green Smoothies book really focuses on superfood ingredients. It's much better than my first one, all right? So if you're gonna buy a smooth, green smoothie book, I highly recommend the new one, all right? Okay, so in here, I'm gonna read about maca powder. Maca is a plant native. I have to do it in my sexy voice here. Maca is a plant native to Peru. It is shaped like a turnip or a radish, but actually is more closely related to broccoli and cauliflower. So, remember, <laughs> here's the picture, all right, of the maca powder. Maca is a relatively new superfood on the market, but most health food stores sell it in powdered or liquid form. It is highly nutritious, containing lots of vitamin C, copper, iron. It's a really important for a lot of weight loss surgery community, right? You have iron and potassium. It is low in fat, but high in fiber. Now this is very important because this is one of the things that's missing from the weight loss surgery community. We talk too damn much about protein. We talk too much about protein. Fiber is actually much more important um, than you think, all right? For your overall health but it's hot it's low in fat high in fiber protein and carbohydrates so believe it or not okay actually this cord and this is only has one gram of protein i don't know okay cool what else does it say oh here you go maca from the inca oh inca warriors i don't know if you can read this inca warriors used it for endurance now inca empire was so big I mean, it was bigger than Chinese empires, Ming Dynasty, uh, you know, Inca, Inca Empire was huge. So the warriors use this root for endurance. Cool, let's make it. So first of all, remember, you need an emulsifying blender, not just a regular blender. I have a Nutri Ninja, which you can get. Here you go, Nutri Ninja, a place like Walmart for as little as, gosh, 55, 60 bucks. Um, but you don't want to use a magic bullet or a regular blender, it's too weak. So you're gonna just open up your canister. Now, normally, you, what makes a green smoothie green? It's the leafy greens, not the final color, right? It's the leafy greens. I usually use spinach, but you can use anything. And in fact, they've got a whole uh, selection now of um, uh, greens. There's one called Power, Power Greens. It's got different types of greens in there. You can try that out. You can try arugula, which is kind of spicy. Kale makes my mouth itch when it's raw, so I don't use it in my smoothies. I like spinach because it lasts for a whole week, all right? Now, normally I put it in the greens first, but I had a viewer comment that says, Dr. Vaughn, if you'll put in your frozen fruit first, the weight of the frozen fruit 
when you turn it upside down, pushes down the greens and it blends nicer. And I was like, oh, well, that's freaking smart. Let's try that. Now, if you're trying to be ketogenic or low carb or you're diabetic or pre-diabetic, some people go, I can't eat fruits. It's too high in carbs. They're too bad for my diabetes. The answer is no, there's certain fruits you have to avoid. So what can you eat if you're a diabetic or trying to be low carb? All your berries are good for you. So blueberries are a super food. We're gonna put blueberries in here. How much do you put in, Dr. Vaughn? Listen, there's no measuring needed. You just plop in a few, whatever you want. No big deal, okay? So all your berries are good. Blueberries, raspberries, etc. And uh, your pitted fruits, like nectarines, peaches, plums, cherries are pitted fruit. But check this out. I got a cool mix here. Mandarin orange, pineapple, and blueberry blend. Blueberry blend. Blueberry blend. blend. Three quarters cup has only 60 calories for a three quarters cup. We're not even going to use that much. And actually, there's only 17 total carbs if you use a full load, which you're not. But they, the store now has all sorts of blends like this. You can try them out. Um, they have a blurry, a blurry. I have a berry blend in the fridge. I'll use some other time. Now, what I like to use is a banana. Specifically, a very, <laughs> look at this thing, man. It is old. Uh, again, organic, but look, it's brown, man, because it's super sweet. Now, if you're trying to be di if you're trying to be low carb, skip the banana. If you're diabetic, skip the banana, and instead use half an avocado. Don't use a full avocado. That shit makes your smoothie too thick. You'd be like, <sniffs> you can't suck that out. So the green smoothies are a great way to get rid of um, like overly ripe bananas. Super sweet. Now, if you use a nice ripe banana um, like this, uh, you do not, absolutely do not need a sweetener, artificial sweetener. In fact, if you're trying to use, like Dr. Vaughn, what about stevia? Listen, if you need to add stevia after adding all this fruit in here, your taste buds are fucked up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Honestly, I love you, but it's true. It's true. Uh, don't need to add any artificial sweeteners to your smoothies. They're perfectly great with that. Okay, so so I got my uh, banana. I got my frozen fruit. I'm gonna put in my leafy greens, spinach in this case. Oh, in an upcoming episode, I'm gonna have a different new sweetener for you to try. It's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, uh, a couple of handfuls of spinach or your powered greens. You can use in uh, my Advanced Green Smoothies book, I actually do some recipes with like dandelion leaves and turnip tops. I mean, all sorts of stuff. Couple of handfuls. Now, what is cool about a green smoothie? I'm gonna tell you what's really cool. You don't taste the greens. How about that? How about that? Like your kids don't know that there's spinach in there. But if you start them off early, like I have a two and a half year old, and she loves to help daddy with a smoothie making. And she goes, smoothie, smoothie. She can, you know, she's learning how to speak. She says, smoothie, smoothie, moody, moody. And so she gets upset if I wake up too early and, and make my smoothie without her. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. Okay, so now you need a liquid. And you see, this thing is packed in here, okay? And I'm gonna talk about how much you're supposed to eat with a, a sleever here, or, or weight loss surgery patient here in a second. But now you need a liquid. I like soy milk, mostly because, well, it's organic, right? Um, and it's got seven grams of protein for eight fluid ounces. We're not gonna use that much. But, so you're getting a little bit of extra protein, as you all know, very important for weight loss surgery patients. Now you're just gonna pour it in. Now here's why I like green smoothies for my patients. If you just had surgery, guess what? Add a lot of liquid. So then you make it really nice and thin. So when you're transitioning through your food calendar and you're getting back to solid foods, make it thinner. Now, make it really runny. Now, if you um, are a little bit further out and you want it thicker so it keeps you full longer, then don't put as much. So I usually put about that much. But remember what I always tell you, it's not, it's not natural to be full. You're not supposed to be full. Now, next thing I'm gonna tell you about my, uh, for all of y'all, okay? You're, repeat after me, my green smoothie the purpose of a green smoothie is to nourish my body, not make me feel full. Woo! Give me some hearts and loves for that. Give me some comments for that one. My green smoothie is to nourish my body. Because look at this. 
What do you got in here? First of all, it's all natural foods, right? You got organic spinach, you got organic banana, you got frozen berries. Um, oh, I forgot the maca powder. <laughs> you, you got the uh, soy milk. Now, don't believe all that crap. They talk about how soy is bad for you. It causes cancer, stuff like that. It's all bullshit. It's all bad news, false. What's it called? Fake news. Fake news uh, from the dairy industry trying to... Because, you know, honestly, when silk, when soy milk came onto the marketplace, it hurt the sales in the dairy industry, okay? Let me grab a spoon real quick. Oh my God, where'd he go? Okay. So, our special ingredient today is maca powder from Peru, used by Incan warriors for energy and vitality. And the serving size is actually one a teaspoon, one a teaspoon, five grams. So it's not, it's a, this is a little small spoon, but it is just um, a little powder that's tannish in color. Check it out. Woo, isn't that cool? And it has, since I need smell of vision. It has like a, a nutty little smell to it, like nutty. And then you're just gonna drop that right in there. Okay, don't use too much. This is my second time using this maca powder. It's really nice flavor. Let's put this on here. All right. <laughs> All right, let's flip this over. And what one thing you wanna do when you flip this over is let your liquid come to the bottom, okay? That'll help you blend it. So, here we go. I love this part. There we go, baby. One, two, three, woo! Green, it's green. See, right now it's green, but now it's about to hit the blueberry. So what happens when you hit the blueberries? Whoa! Look at that, two colored. You can stop right there, you have two layers. All right, now it's turning purple. So check this out. If you start flipping it, you can see the, like, see it running down. So you have an idea of how thick or thin it is. Now this is about how I like it. If you're just fresh out of surgery, make sure you make it really thin in water. You want to hit this a couple times. Be very patient. Be very patient. Okay? So because I use blueberries, it's a nice purple green smoothie, right? But you're right. Sometimes, depending on what fruits you use, you, it, sometimes it comes out looking like poo-poo. <laughs> but man, it tastes good. And it's good for you. Okay, biatches, one more time. My green smoothie is to nourish my body. It's not to make me feel full, okay? Taste test, woo! Another thing you can do is slap this down a little bit. All right, because when you unscrew this lid, you're gonna have some drippings on you. Flip it over real quick, oh. And see, it's nice and runny. This. Oh, you definitely taste that maca powder. You don't want to use too much. One teaspoon is about right. Nice nutty flavor. Really, really good, okay? So, as a bariatric patient, if you have supplements, you can put your supplements in your pills. You can use up all your crappy premier protein shakes if you need to throw it in here. Get away from these processed protein shakes, guys. All right, you don't need, you don't need to drink Ensure, you don't need to drink Premier Protein Shakes, you got more nutrition, vitality and stuff, um, better health for you in this green smoothie. Try it out. Today, we did it with maca powder, don't use too much, it's pretty nutty. And um, you can find these sort of recipes in my green smoothies book available on Amazon. And if you haven't picked it up yet, I have a free download, the Dr. B Diet PDF which is 14 pages, colorful, beautiful. Oh yeah, I can put the link somewhere in the comment section or the show notes. It's only available through Sunday, December 2nd. Don't miss it, okay? So this will be beautiful. All right, excellent. Hope you enjoy, have a great day.